Maybe they say good things take time, you know? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> When you do that, yeah. ha, they are going to punish you. This thing we are married, men have like side chicks and everything else. You know? mm. Like you're married, but you want a young girl out there. Uh. That <laughs> guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl gracie d i hope you guys are doing amazing i'm doing great back here in kigali in rwanda the land of a thousand hills yeah and today with me here i have Picasso's. Yes. i'll let him to i'll let him introduce himself and then we'll continue wow thank you so much and welcome to rwanda yeah welcome to this channel <laughs> thank you so much wow so before we start you can subscribe to this channel and then my name is Afikazo Traveler. That's my channel name. Yeah, you go subscribe go there. to his channel. Yes, and subscribe. Yeah. You know, so I've met with a beautiful lady here in Kigali. You oh, know, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Kenyans and Rwandans, they are friends. You know, they are family. So we are the same. You know. Yeah. So different. Thank you so much for hosting me on your channel. <laughs> thank you so much for agreeing to come and you know do yeah. this video with me. It yeah. means a lot. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, I've always wanted to like, as you know, I've been here for like a month and I've always wanted to learn of different uh, cultures from Rwanda. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And today I'll be asking because of the things that I've been wanting to know about Rwanda. Mm -hmm. One of them being like marriage. I'd like to know how like, you know, when you're marrying from Rwanda, like mm -hmm. for us in Kenya, it's different, you know. Uh -huh. People like we have come and stay, come and stay is where you just decide, oh, we're gonna stay together, you have kids, <laughs> and then mm. after, mm -hmm. by the time you know, you already have a family mm. and you know, you're uh, together. Yeah. And then we also have like traditional marriages where you have to go and give cows and everything. Mm. It depends, yeah, you pay the dowry, mm. but it depends with, uh, you know, different uh, tribes because we have different tribes in Kenya, mm. so it depends. Uh, with the tribe you are in. So I would like to know how does marriage work here in Rwanda, like the processes and everything else. Okay, uh, what I can say, the process are almost the same. Yeah. You can't marry to yourself, you know, you yeah. have to find someone. True. <laughs> True. So that's the first thing you have to know. Yeah. And then if you got someone, yeah. you have to date. Oh, yeah. Okay? Yeah. So you find there are people here in Rwanda, it's amazing. They are dead for seven years. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> How do you date for seven years? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. For me, I think that's boring dating for seven years. By the way, that's what I think also. And it's also boring. Good, but maybe they say good things take time, you know? Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> so, another thing is uh, when you got someone and dating, yeah. uh, I think that's the time you, you, you find that your partner is worthy to marry you yeah. you know so you've you you've, se you've seen person. everything you know you you don't have to be like those people to spend seven years to yeah. do that but even it's not easy to know someone you know yeah. i'm telling you you can be with someone for the 10 years but you don't know that person yeah true. so it means that it's not easy to know someone but you go we believe each other yeah. you know yeah. that's it and you learn because I think every day is a learning process. Yeah, so, for uh, and then, like, there are some saying they say, like, uh, life is a blind, you know, it makes you blind. Yeah. You know? So, if you want to make that decision, you don't have to be blind. True. You know? Yeah. You have to say the truth with your partner. That's, That's true. it. Yeah. Once you tell the truth each other, you're going to make it for 100 years. <laughs> <laughs> So, so the yeah. second thing is uh, when you decided to be married, you do engagement, you know, yeah. you bring the link, you engage your partner. Yeah. That's for the men, yeah. you know, on men's side. Yeah. And then after that, you plan the, the, 
the introduction. Yeah. So you, after planning the introduction, the family of the man is the one who go first to the family of the oh. women, yeah. and then they, they they say, okay, we came here, uh, our our. Our what? Our boy? Our Can boy I say boy? <laughs> Is it a boy? I don't Our know. Man Our man wants to marry. Our man wants to marry your lady. Your yeah. lady. So they they talk each other, and then that's where they talk about the dory. Whoa. So after talking about the dory, that's the time you go into introduction. Okay. So like uh, for the dowry, let me ask you this. Uh. Like in Kenya, there's specific tribes that they say like you know. You have to pay, they give you the amount, like, you know, or the, maybe the number of cows that you're supposed to bring, or the, you know. Okay, here it's like this. Yeah. The dowry in Rwanda, by the way, the way we, we are talking this, yeah. in the parliament they are just uh, talking about removing the dowry. Oh. You know? So, if I love with you, we go. I think that's <laughs> a nice thing, because, you know, I was thinking this to myself. Uh, I think uh, dowry bling, uh, brings us back to that, uh, you know, back in like, slave days. Let me tell you, it's like, like yeah. if to, if it's about giving the dowry, yeah. even the girls should give the dowry to the man. Yeah, but for me, I don't think. <laughs> but always, that's that's not the culture, yeah. mostly in African countries. So that's what I was telling you. They are they are trying to remove the dowry. Yeah, it's a lot of discussion there. But I don't know what will happen. So that's the process, and then uh, the dory. You talk about the dory. Yeah. For you, you tell your parents if you are a man, you want to marry someone. You yeah. tell your parents that I have this. There are some other guys yeah. who get help from their parents. Okay. Yeah. So they say we have, for example, one million. Yeah. That's one thousand US dollars. Yeah. And then they go with that. You know. Oh yeah. So. They go and propose the girl's family that we have this. Yeah. So are you allowing us to marry your girl or not? Yeah. So you discuss. They tell you we are not or they tell you we we, 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 we agree. Yeah. But that depends to the girls. Depends with the girls or the yeah. girl's parents. If the girl decided. Yeah. If she's okay with if that. If she's okay. Yeah. He can go without dowry. Oh. You know. But. You do have to follow the culture steps. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I can say. So let me ask you one thing. Uh, so here in Rwanda, mm. you can just you don't have like come we stay marriages, like where you just we get do have oh. we do have like uh, <laughs> they 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 used to say that uh, those people they go by the night you know <laughs> during the night <laughs> yeah and you stay you stay there for oh, long. <laughs> so it's there here. Oh. Yeah. Okay, guys, it's there, but uh, it's not like uh, it's not popular because yeah. uh, here they try to tell people to follow the steps. You yeah, go to the government official, officials, yeah. sign papers. Yeah. You do what? You do what? So it's a long process, but I some just, they follow, others they don't. I also saw this thing on. Uh, I watch uh, this this YouTuber. I mm. guess you know him, Theo. A few years back, back yes. yeah i watched him say on his channel that in rwanda for you like you have to show when you're getting married and like you know you're following the steps from the you know official government and whatever mm. you have to show that you have to really show that you're not married yeah because wow. everyone is registered yeah so if you are married with someone yeah. regal marriage yeah. they know they will know and then it's a it's a like when you do that yeah. Ha. They are going to punish you. Oh, that's a crime here in Rwanda. It's a crime. So, so it's it, not allowed to take someone's wife oh, <laughs> or someone's husband. husband. <laughs> so that definitely means polygamous is not allowed in Rwanda. Yeah, it's not allowed. Guys, oh, girls, <laughs> my Kenyan girls, if you want to get married, please come and get married here in Rwanda. Yeah, polygamous, polygamous is, not allowed. is not allowed. You, It's one. Yes, there are people who have. I'm oh. telling you, the exceptionals, yeah. you know, there are people who have, they are but the they are not guns. legal married. Oh, so. you might have someone like your side one, you know, yeah. <laughs> wow. outside, but it's not legal. 
if it's legal yeah. it's one only and like you know the married men like you know you know this thing where married men have like side chicks and everything else you know mm. like you're married but you want a young girl out there uh. does this <laughs> thing happen here in Rwanda it's happen it's oh. the same world okay. it's the same world it happened what happened in Kenya also happened here oh. <laughs> that everyone, you know, we believe and say that Rwanda uh, has the most beautiful girls in the world, you know, and even really, Kenya, even Kenya. Yeah, also starting Kenya, from you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. So, guys, that is a that's it about the marriage here mm. in Rwanda. Yeah. Yeah. But I think getting away with the dowry thing that would be a very good step because there is no way you can buy a human being because for me yeah. i feel like you're selling your daughter you know yeah you find on the on the on the on the social media as people are saying ah the reason why these young men are not getting married is yeah. because the door yeah so when they remove the door i think it's the time to get married you know <laughs> yeah and produce you know <laughs> and make africa but great some they come and stay oh yeah, yeah. But it's also good. But for me, I believe if you love each other, yeah, there's no. That's like, for that's me, enough. I even don't think I'll ever do like you know a white marriage and everything else, because for us you have to follow the culture and everything. But yeah, you know, we have to give the dowry. But if you love each other, I think, and you decide, you know, you just make your plans. Your parents don't have to be involved in this. You just go yeah, and tell them. You are the one married. who is going to get married. Yeah. They are not your parents, so you yeah. have to know that. Make your decision. And then your you're gonna spend like your man with a long period of time. Yeah. So you don't have to stress your man. You know, <laughs> make it easy. You know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. For you to get like a matatu, unless you like go to stage, like main, main stage, you know? Okay, like, you yeah, know? we used to have matatus, but yeah. uh, they have removed it. Yeah. So we are using these big buses yeah. because uh, matatus were not uh, serving the people well. Yeah. Because there were uh, long lines oh. by the bus uh, stages and park. Yeah. Yes. Nowadays also there are long lines. Yeah. In the yeah, I can't hide that. Yeah. But uh, they are trying to correct that, you know, yeah. they are trying to bring more buses. Yeah. But uh, this thing of bring buses is very nice because uh, it carries a lot of people. Yeah. This bus carries like 80 people. Yeah, yeah. And so, they have nice buses, guys. Yeah. So if it carries 8 people, yeah. our Matatus used to carry, the big one used to carry 30, yeah. and the small ones used to carry 18. Oh, yeah. Just imagine, you know. But if that this, this big one carries a, a lot of people, yeah. It uh, yeah, it helps. By the way, there are some people who spend a lot of time to the bus stages, but yeah, these yeah. big buses have reduced something. And also, like uh, maybe you tell my viewers, uh, yeah. in Rwanda you can't use a bus uh, without something. I think it. Has yeah, you smart can't. Use, it's called a tap and go. Yeah. And then there are other smart cards uh, they use to the bus, but the tap and go is popular. Yeah. So you go and uh, recharge it, it depends, you can put the money you want, yeah. after recharging it you just go and tap on the machine, on the bus and then you ride. That's one thing I like about your transportation, it's so organized. Your most common means of transport is uh, motorbikes, you know? Yeah, that's the cheapest and that's fastest. The cheapest and fastest. Yeah. But I feel like, you know, I feel like it, will, it should be easy, you know, for you to move in between, you know, uh, like here, Kigali Heights, or from downtown to maybe Kisukiro to maybe Gasuriro with the bus. I think uh, I feel like you don't have to be waiting for so long, you know. Ah, but uh, there are people who don't afford that uh, motor. Oh, yeah. So it means that we have to use buses. Oh, even me. So the buses I use, are most of the time I use the buses because uh, sometimes uh, this motor. Yes, you have a helmet. Yeah. But uh, you're not guaranteed. I feel that I'm not safe than being on the bus. Yeah, true. Oh, so sorry. I would rather wait the bus yeah. instead I don't have a, a rush. Yeah, you go and I, I go on the line. I wait for the bus because oh. it's cheap, you know? Yeah. True. You know the highest, uh, the highest price of the bus, the high, the long journey is yeah. $5. Wow. $5. That is like for how many hours? Not even. It's, like from it's here from, to Let's say it's from uh, this park called Nyabugogo yeah. to Kabuga. That's the <laughs> longest journey of the bus. Wow. You know? How many hours is the journey? No, it can take one hour. One hour, oh, wow. one hour. Okay, the bus goes slow. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, yeah, just one hour and a half. One hour. Wow. 
That's yeah. great. Yeah. So guys, okay, don't come with me. I'm not against uh, random transport. I'm just no, it's okay. Against, it's okay. Like, it's, it's okay. It's, it's hard for you to when you're not from here to access a bus unless you get someone who knows how to. No, go but you have to get it. a tap and go, and then yeah. you tap and go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So another thing. Uh, we all know Rwanda is among the topest, cleanest countries we have in the world. Not only in Africa, have you seen that? but in the world. No, have yeah. you seen by your eyes? Yeah, I've seen it. <laughs> Guys, I did a video. Go back and watch the video. Wow. So I want to ask you, Fikazo, yes. how do you guys maintain this? You know, it's very hard, especially like, you know, you guys are like trying. You want to work. You want to be in a position to feed your family and everything else. Mm. How do you guys like get to maintain this cleanliness? In your okay, uh, maintaining cleanliness, I think, uh, it's a culture. Listen, everyone have to be clean. Yeah, true. You see? Yeah. You have to be clean no matter what. Yeah. No matter what you do, you have to be you clean. You have to be clean. For your health. True. So that's a culture. In Rwandans, mm -hmm. they know they have to be clean. So, if it's a culture, so the government have impl implemented this, these, uh, these regulations. Yeah. Just to maintain also the environment. Yeah. So if you are clean, you don't have to throw things by the streets or by the park where we are here. Yeah. You don't have to throw your bottle. You see? So another thing they bring yeah. is uh, the waste bins around the, the city. Yeah. There are a lot of waste bins around the city. And that's true, guys. So that's, that, that, that will not be the excuse to you to throw things. Yeah. And if you throw it and the police shows you, You'll be in for it. Aha, uh -huh. you're gonna pay something, you know? Yeah. So you have to respect the, the environment. Yeah, and that's good. You see? Yeah. So as cleanliness is in our culture, that's why you see we have this Umuganda by the last Saturday of the month. Yeah. We come together and then we clean the city, we clean our homes, we yeah. clean our villages. Yeah. So it means that everybody has to know that. So it's another culture. So we come together, we clean, and then uh, we help each other, you know. When someone has some issues at home, and then like these old, uh, old people, yeah. so we go out there and then we help. We help, them clean we help to area. clean, we help yeah. to remove the bushes, yeah. even we help to build their houses wow. when they are broken. So wow. that's the way it is. So cleanliness, what I can say, and people have to know that, yeah. it's in the culture of Rwandans. Mm -hmm. It means you have to be clean. True. You see? Yeah. So that's why you see also on the street people are clean. Yeah. I but think yeah. the whole world and also like my country, we should uh, take after Rwanda when it comes to <laughs> cleanliness. Because I think uh, this will be among the few countries that are going to survive climate change. I know most of you out there don't think climate change is real. But uh, yeah, people, and what you're, what you're saying is very important. Yeah. You have to care about the climate change. Yeah. So if you don't keep your environment, even starting from your home where you are, True. if you are cutting trees without planting, and because like we have a saying here in Rwanda, yeah. if you cut a tree, you, you plant, plant two. Oh, you cut one, you plant two. Yeah. yeah. So it means that you have to care about the weather. And there are so many trees in Rwanda, guys. It's green, it's green. Guys, yeah, Rwanda is, every part of Rwanda is green. Even like uh, where we are seated, it's in the city, it's in the yeah, central yeah, area. Yeah, you see, yeah. But you can see all green. And I don't know, you know, most people, especially the youths, they don't, uh, most people don't think climate change is real. Yeah, that's why they think, but uh, it's real, it's real, it's real. Yeah, so yeah. you have have all had for yourself i hope that uh by the last saturday of this month i'll be here to yeah, we should we should do together yeah umuganda. Um, it's called umuganda umuganda yeah umuganda is the is the last, <laughs> last happens every saturday of the month yeah it's a community work so yeah. for every last saturday of the month we do umuganda yeah guys you're going to see you're going to watch that video because i'll still be here in rwanda yeah Yes, another thing, uh, what is your like typical Rwanda food, you know? So, like, uh, everybody who, some people who comes in Rwanda, they struggle to get Rwandan food. Yeah. Because they say this country is westernized, I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> By the way, mm -hmm. 
you find you see i think you've seen it on the streets there's no street food yeah there's no street food <laughs> in Rwanda and i was actually t- telling my friends how it is, i don't like, know why street foods in Kenya. you know we have smokies. you know smokies yeah you know smokies. and then they sell them smoky pasua mm. they put kachumbaris the mix of tomatoes onions so and they are very delicious oh so that's goodness. the thing people miss when they came here yeah so by the way uh i don't know why yeah but uh, people believe to eat in the restaurant, at their homes, you know. It's, it's hard to find someone who is eating by the streets wow. in Rwanda. Yeah, true. Maybe that should be, like, the reason why. So, the typical Rwandan food, uh, I know Kenyans, you, you eat uh, ugali. Yeah, we eat ugali. And nyamachoma. Yes. Yes, but here we have also ugali, but which is uh, from the cassava. Oh, okay. You not see? like from the, maize flour. Not ma- we have this one for maize. Yeah. But also we have this one from the cassava. Yeah. We have also this matoke. Matoke. Oh, yeah. We also have matoke in Kenya, yes. but I don't know if it's the same. Mato- matoke. Yeah. These bananas, green yeah, bananas. Yeah. Yeah. They, okay. And then um, other, they are still the same because we we eat yams, we eat uh, sweet potatoes, we eat uh, cassava, we eat. Uh, but uh, popular is beans. Beans. Uh, here they eat beans, my friend. In this country, <laughs> yeah, they, they eat love beans. beans. <laughs> so let me ask. No, you. it's not. By the way, they love beans, but it's cheap. That what? That's what I can say. It's cheap. I think everywhere, you know, beans is like in category of cereals, not cereals for like breakfast, like you know, beans, maize. You know, but here in Rwanda, they eat from Monday to Sunday. <laughs> So when you come to Rwanda, be ready to eat beans. I don't know why I yes. haven't oh. had beans in Rwanda. The only beans I've had is like the canned beans from, you know, the supermarket. Ah, breakfast. my friend is here. They eat beans. And let me ask you one thing. There's this mixture we have in Kenya mm. called gideri. It's a mixture of beans and maize. Do you guys have that in Rwanda? Yeah, they call it uh, imungure. <laughs> oh, imungure. <laughs> yeah, imungure. Wow. Man. In your <laughs> but it's not popular. It's, it's not, not popular. popular. Wow. Yeah, because I don't know. They eat in schools. Yeah. In the secondary school, they yeah. eat that, yeah. and uh, in also in prison. Oh. That's where they, that's where it's popular. But um, on the in the people, normal people here, they don't eat much. But yeah. for me, I eat. Oh, we love Gideri, especially for me. You call it Kaka Kamanga. Imungure. 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 You know, I'm, I'm from, you know, the Kikui side from oh, Uranga. Love. That is like our staple food for Kikuis, you wow. know. Uh, the Imungure, and you mix them with potatoes, or sometimes you just make it salt, yeah. and you know, have it. And it's very really so good sweet. when you have it for breakfast and tea, so just sweet. with salt, you know. Yeah. Yeah, so guys. So another thing, uh, in Rwanda, we also have uh, this uh, this ugali, yolo ugali, yeah. from posho, knocks off from uh, maize flour. Yeah. Here we call it kaunga. Oh, kaunga. Yeah. So it's different because <laughs> what we used to call kaunga in Kenya was, you know, mm. this yellow flour that they used to give when they were oh. maize flour, you know. Okay. Yeah, we used to Yellow call that kaunga. Yeah. Okay, here is kaunga. Yeah. Oh. The white flour. The maize flour here is kaunga. So, so the, the yellow flour they call it a uh, pate jaune, but it's French. Oh, pate. Pate jaune. Repeat it. That's that pate jaune. <laughs> <laughs> you heard him, pate jaune. Yeah, pate jaune. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so when you come to when you visit Rwanda and you want to eat ugali, maybe you're from Kenya, Tanzania, you say Uganda, I want kaunga. Kaunga. They're gonna give it to you. Yeah. Yeah. So, let's talk about your education system. I just mm. learned like uh, the education system here is very different from what we have in our country. Mm-hmm. And I also just realized uh, education system in Kenya and in Tanzania and Rwanda it's very different. First of all, in Tanzania, I just realized that kids go to school from you know the seniors they go to school from uh, seven to twelve, and then the juniors go to school from twelve until in the evening. Whereas in Kenya, we go to school yeah. from morning till evening, you know, only the juniors, the young ones, uh, the seniors that go to school, like, the small, the young kids, they go to school from uh, 7 until maybe 1 p.m. Yeah, we, so, we are the same. We are the same as Kenya. Yeah. Because uh, here, a child starts school at 5 years. Yeah. 
but uh, he he started nursery yeah. at three. Wow. Three. So at five years you go to grade one. Yeah, you go to grade one. Yeah. So by seven thirty, that's when they start school. But yeah. they have changed. Yeah. Now it's going to eight thirty oh. from the from January. Yeah. So and they finish by far. They finish by eleven. You know, in public schools. Yeah. The, the, these young ones they finish by 11 by from 7 30 to yeah, by 11, 11 yeah. and then the big ones also they stay till 5. Oh, till 5. Yeah. But you know, I've been walking around and I was trying to ask my host. There are these mm. times that I used to go, like, you know, walking around and I see kids going uh, home at okay. 1 p.m. Mm. Yeah, they are. The Ma kids. Mostly, mostly yes, the private schools, but oh. uh, we are considering the public schools. Yeah. It's from morning till 4.30, oh, so 5. It's the, only the public school that go to school, like around up to... Uh, no, even there are these, there are these uh, private ones, yeah. but uh, they know, they do their things. Yeah. Oh, there are some who yeah. go out by one, others they stay to five, so it's different. Okay. Yeah. So but the education system, uh, it's almost the same by Ken with Kenya. Yeah. And which is the best between private schools and uh, public schools? Okay, uh, the best um, when you consider the the, the national exam, yeah. public some uh, they are the best. Public schools mostly in secondary, but uh, these uh, private they have different uh, different program. Yeah. So they study in the different programs, so they don't do the local exam, national oh, exams. Yeah, they, like international. Yeah, yeah they like do international like internationals. Oh. So most most private they do international, yeah. like this uh, primarily. Yeah. But uh, there are also public schools which are good. Yeah. So nowadays uh, teachers uh, they have increased the, the 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 salary of a teacher. Yeah. So the public school used to have a uh, few teachers than the private one but uh, now the salary have increased so now the public school have There's going to good be more teachers. teachers in public school yeah yeah oh okay yeah so what else do I want to ask oh my god why am I forgetting it's about education okay god but I know that your government really puts in a lot of money to education right yeah yeah, yeah that is something that I, yeah I but want. education is uh is the best basic it's given first priority here in Rwanda but it have to be the basic. Yeah, true. Because uh, if Africans we are educated. Yeah. Okay, now I remember my question actually. Yeah. So uh, we know that here in Rwanda the most spoken languages uh, is Kenya Rwanda and French. Is Kenya Rwanda the most? The most spoken is Kenya Rwanda. Yeah. So actually, not all people in Rwanda that speak French. Yeah. So. So they, from one from. One border to another, yeah. it's Kinyaranda. Wow. Everyone can hear you when you speak Kinyaranda. Okay, so yeah. do your schools teach like English and Swahili? We have uh, three major languages. Yeah. The one, the first one is Kinyaranda. Yeah. The second is English. Yeah. The third is uh, French. Yeah. The fourth is Swahili. Oh, so like now kids can learn Swahili in school? Of course, they learn French, yeah. English, and Swahili. At the same time, <laughs> but they learn these uh, these lessons in English. Oh. Yeah, but uh, they, those French and Swahili they are side language. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That's good because you know we all in East Africa we speak Swahili. I don't know if they speak Swahili in Uganda. You've been to Uganda. Do they speak Swahili? Yeah, Uganda Swahili is a major language. Too. Oh. Yeah. So they, because they, I saw a YouTuber from Uganda saying that they don't know Swahili. They know Swahili. Kibano. Yeah, they don't know, but it's official language there. You see, even when you see on their notes, yeah. you know, money, yeah. there are some Swahili words. Oh, yeah, here in Rwanda, everything is written either in Kenya Rwanda or French. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are colonized by uh, yeah, uh, you know, Rwanda colonized by two countries, yeah, by Germany and Belgians. Yeah. So it speaks Belgium, are you are last colonizers, right? Yeah, no, no, yeah, Belgium, yeah, Belgium. are the last ones. Oh. So it's a big. So guys, uh, that's all that I wanted to know about Rwanda. 
if you want to know about Rwanda please visit Rwanda you'll be happy to visit this beautiful country and also if you want to know more about Rwanda you can talk to Fiki because the traveler yeah, yeah he's on youtube on instagram yeah, i'll put his link uh, mm -hmm. and then you can go and check him and ask him as many questions as you <laughs> want he's ready to answer you okay yeah yeah remember to subscribe on this channel also subscribe to Fikazo channel yeah thank you so much see you in another one see you guys <laughs> bye bye <laughs>